everybody, I'm Vivji on Gimme D on Cars. So today we're gonna talk about my mom's Audi Q5. We had it for one year and we're gonna talk about the things um, about it. Okay, look, here's Penny too. Penny. Hey Penny, come here, Penny. Yes, yeah, so I'm here with Viv, and we're gonna. We just had this car for one year, so we're gonna talk about how it's been as a car. So here we go. You can ride an old or let me tag along. We're headed to the same place anywhere. If a safe will stay, if they fly, we'll run away. What you gonna do when they make you a hero? Got a president paying you checks on his payroll. You're a man, you're a man in a mirror. With my granddad medals when he fought in the Union Jets on the Soviet game plan He was just like you, a real Now, but it'll last too long Don't run so fast, I wanna tag along We're headed to the same place anyway If it's safe, we'll stay If they fight, we'll run away I know I'm gonna call by the town you'd never imagine Okay, so we're gonna talk about the Audi uh, as a car. We've had it for one year. Now, when I did my one year video of my Mazda 6, that car, that video got like 22,000 views. So I figured I don't have much else to do here during the quarantine. So we're gonna talk about how this car, how it has been as a car for one year. Now, when we got this car, we had about 14,900 miles. And right now we have about 21,900 miles. So we've only gone about 7,000 miles in a year which is pretty typical, like Viv has my hat on, which is pretty typical for, you know, how many miles my wife drives in a year. So first off, we're going to ask Viv. So what do you think of mommy's car? Um, I like the color, what, like a nice pearly white color. And it, it goes pretty fast. And it's when we go to the beach, it's pretty big to fit all our luggage. Yeah, in. Like, is it comfortable? Yeah, it's comfortable. Yeah. It's not that messy inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we try to keep it as nice as we can. But I, you know, I've done multiple videos on this car about how I, I love the way it looks, I love the way it performs, you know, the dual clutch transmission. So I I love it. Um, I said in many videos before that I messed up and now I'm always going to have to get an Audi Q5 for my wife. So I love this car. Um, it's been a great car for my family. Um, I think I had the seal of approval from viv so if whenever the time comes to get mommy a new car do you think we should get another audi q5 yeah wait <laughs> you want to get in, like a different kind of car just like a blue red or something could. you could you know it's funny how we we both have white cars yeah and there's my car and... and when daddy's done with his car i think he's gonna get an wait a jeep i think i don't know we'll see I, it's hard to say i i do want to go drive a jeep wrangler penny <laughs> what do you say do you like mommy's car <laughs> so overall um the other thing to mention is that sun motors audi where we got this car has been a fantastic dealership to work with and I'm, I'm definitely biased because my neighbor that lives behind me is the sales manager or was the sales manager now he's the service manager and he's been nothing but great to us you know he's a wonderfully nice guy super uh cooperative to work with and we i don't have i have nothing but good things to say about him and audi sun motors audi as a whole um, so one thing that I never knew about Audis is when we bought this car, we signed up for something that's called Audi Care. And wow. for an extra $20 a month on our payment, um, it gives you all your services, oil changes and everything up to 50,000 miles. So it saves about uh, $1,500 in the long run. Like those services up to $50,000 would be about $2,500, but this extra $20 a month saved us about fifteen hundred dollars so that is a nice thing that they have now i've had to get one service in this car and that was the oil change at twenty thousand miles um, everything was pretty ship shape except i needed to get a front end alignment and that was about three hundred dollars which is kind of expensive but it's a you know luxury german car so that was kind of unexpected um and a little bit pricey but obviously these cars cost more money and more money to maintain so that was that was the only time that this car has been to the dealer. Okay, so that that's basically. I mean, there's not much to report. I only had to take this to the dealer once to get an oil change uh, and the twenty thousand mile checkup. And Viv really wanted to eat a Hershey Kiss on camera, so <laughs> here, here she is. This one's kind of so. Uh, overall, I love this car. Um, I I can't wait to be an owner of an Audi for many 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 more years to come, and hopefully another car after this car. I hope 
by the time it comes to when we replace this car, they have some sort of hybrid or semi-electric or mild hybrid system for a Q5, because that is something that I'm interested in. So look, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as a whole, it's been a great car and I look forward to many more years of Audi ownership. So um, that's gonna do it for this video. We just wanted to talk about my wife's car real quick um, and talk to Penny and Viv. I'd like to get them involved. Um, I asked my wife to if she wanted to be involved in this video and she said no. Um, so I guess she's maybe, I don't wanna say camera shy, but you know, she, I'm the car person of the family. So yeah. Um, I kinda love cars too. I mostly love the Corvettes and yep. Wranglers. Yeah, yeah, she's she's big on Jeeps at the moment, and whenever this whole quarantine thing is over, I'm going to go drive a uh, Jeep Wrangler, and maybe I can get Viv to come with me, and she can give yeah. her thoughts too. And we should we should also do another video where we were comparing the supercars like we did a couple weeks ago. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me uh, on Instagram, uh, at Gimme D on Cars What. What's up? Um... I really, um, when, when Daddy maybe gets a Jeep Wrangler, I would really love to take the doors off it. Yeah, we could take the That'd top down. Fun. Maybe in the summer. It's only spring right now. Yeah, plus we're, we're stuck at home now. So hope everybody's staying safe. You know, stay home. Um, you're not stuck at home. You're safe at home. So don't forget that. So big thank you to anybody who's watching this that works in the medical profession or pharmacists or anybody helping out with this coronavirus. So um, thank you for everything you do. So that's going to do it for this one. And we'll see you in the next one. See ya. And, and make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below what your favorite car is. And hit the notification. The notification bell and it's subscribe subscribe if you're new to our channel that's right hey everything she just said do it <laughs> see you later oh. hello everybody i'm vivi g um today we're gonna talk for gimme d on cars oh. hello everybody it's vivi g for gimme d on cars today we're going to talk about my mom's um audi q5 and um we're gonna talk about it. So just I, say we've had it for one year and we're gonna talk about how that year has been. We're gonna talk about, I just. <laughs> it's okay, just keep going. Do it 